Pastor, yo, no disrespect. No, no disrespect. But I came to you in my time of need. I came to you and all you gave me was a Bible. Yo, a Bible. I don't need a Bible. I don't need the word of God right now. I need money, money. That's what I need. I don't need a Bible. I need money. So, um, pick up the kids. Okay. And I'll see you guys. Okay. okay. I'll see you later. What I'll time? What time do you think you'll be home? As soon as I get done. Excuse me. Okay. Home. Pastor Mike, can I speak to you for just? Oh, sure, sure, sure. Hey, first lady. Good to see you. Good to see you too. Vanessa, how are you yeah. doing? You know, maintaining. Is everything okay? Now listen, Vanessa, I'm your pastor. Talk to me. What's going on? Honestly, things aren't going so well. Um, I lost my job in the pandemic, and I've been just trying to figure out how I'm, I'm going to pay my bills. And now my landlord is trying to put me out because I'm behind like three months in rent. And uh, <clears throat> I, uh, I don't really know what I'm going to do. Vanessa, I'm so sorry to hear that. But this pandemic is heating on everybody. As you can see, the church itself is really, really broke. Actually, I, I kind of want to talk to you about that. Um, and if I could go to anybody else, I would. I know that in the past, you know, we, the church has helped people in like similar circumstances. Okay. Is there, I feel crazy asking my pastor this. Now listen, Vanessa, I can tell you, um, for right now, the church is absolutely broke. But please, is there any, I don't like anything, anything will help right now, any, anything. Okay. Um, Give me a few minutes. I'll be right back, okay? Thank you, Pastor. I'll be right back. Thank Give me a few you. minutes. Thank you. Sister Vanessa, like I told you before, things are really hard. And as you can see, the church, not much is going on. But I have something for you. I want to give you this Bible. I want you to read this Bible. Make sure you read Psalm 121. And I believe with God, everything is possible. You will be fine. Thank you. Thank you, Pastor. This You're welcome. Is... Thank you for your time. Again, read your Bible. Psalm 121, and you'll be fine. 121. Vanessa? Is that you? Man, I've been calling your phone for months and your phone seems being disconnected. What's the problem? Pastor, it's like I told you. I couldn't pay my rent. My landlord kicked me out. I didn't have anywhere to go, so... What I'm supposed to do? Did you read the Bible I gave you? Did I... Did I read the Bible? Of course. Did you? Pastor, yo, no disrespect. No, no disrespect. But I came to you in my time of need. I came to you and all you gave me was a Bible. Yo, a Bible. I don't need a Bible. I don't need the word of God right now. I need money. Money. That's what I need. I don't need a Bible. I need money. Can I ask you a question? Where is the Bible that I give you? I threw it away. You know, when I was getting rid of all my stuff, when I was getting put out my house. Did you throw the Bible I gave you? The word of God? 
Jesus. I need money. I don't need a Bible. Vanessa, listen. <laughs> when you came to me, the church did not have any money. I was having $10,000 in my personal account. And I've been keeping that money for the rest of my life. And the Lord told me not to use that money. Not until you showed up. And the Lord told me to give that money to you. But I should put that money in the Bible. And that is exactly what I did. I gave you $10,000 for your rent. You know what that tells me? You've not been reading your Bible. Sister Vanessa. If you've been reading your Bible, you would not have been in this position. See what you're costing yourself. Oh my God. It's very interesting how this lady threw away the Bible and kept saying, I don't need a Bible. All I need is money. Not knowing that the answer that she was looking for was right there in the Bible. Dear friends, many a times we all make the same mistakes. When you go through difficult times, we throw away the Word of God and lean on our own understanding. We lean on our friends and loved ones, and oftentimes they will let us down. But I want you to know that God will never ever let you down. No matter what you're going through, I will encourage you to read your Bible, seek the face of God, and He will surely come through for you. He will make a way where there seems to be no way. Dear friends, if you like this video, please share it with your friends. Make sure you subscribe, like, and comment. Your comments means a lot to us to make us know how these videos are impacting your life. And it will also help the social media algorithm so that many people can watch this video. Thank you so much and see you next time. Shalom. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. If you want to receive more videos from me on WhatsApp, you can find a link to my WhatsApp group on my Facebook page. That is Dr. Dennis Benzel. When you get there, click on like and then click on follow. Don't forget to click on see first, else you won't see all my posts. You can find a link to my WhatsApp group and my Telegram group on any of my videos or inspirational quotes. You can also find this link on my Instagram bio, that is at Bentel Dennis. Just click on the link and then click on OK. That's it, you're in. Just so you know, this group is not for chatting, it's not for making friends. Only I and my team can post in this group. We post daily inspirational and motivational videos and also inspirational quotes. Also, we have counselors and prayer warriors who are there to pray for you, who are there to encourage you, who are there to advise you. So feel free to text any of the admin in my group and they will be more than happy to help you. Thank you and see you next time. Shalom.